Hey guys, Insane Guitarist here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to play Banana Pancakes by Jack Johnson. You're going to want to start off on the 5th fret of the E string. From there we're going to slide to the 7th fret of the E string. And then to the seventh, to the 5th fret of the A string. Back down to the 7th fret of the E string. Then uh, from the 7th fret to the 5th to the third. And you're going to play open E, hammer on to the third, and slide to the fifth. So, so all together it will be and the second time it is almost the same. Start off the same. Except uh, the only thing different is that we're not sliding to the fifth this time. We're not doing that. That's the first time. So first time, slide. Second time, no slide. The third time is very similar as well. You're just gonna start the same. And when you get to the fifth fret on the A string, you're gonna come to the seventh fret on the A string. down to the 5th fret on the A string, to the 7th fret on the E string, then you're going to go open E, and do the same hammer on to the 3rd, and slide to the 5th, so, and then finally, it's the same as before. Uh, after every time you play this little section, you're going to play the chord that you land on. So, the first time I land on a, on an A. So you want to play the A power chord. And uh, you want to hit the, the guitar strings before you uh, hit the chord. So you get this uh, sound, A minor. And then uh, the second time, I land on a G, so play the G major power chord. Same thing on the third and fourth time, so all together this intro should sound like this. That's the intro. Uh, the next thing is the the verse, which uh, after you play those four sections in the intro, there's this little uh, there's this little pick up chord that you play before the verse. It's a D7. Uh, so once you finish this last one. kind of sort of play it again and then stop it so like that and then play that D7 what I'm doing is I'm playing the first I'm playing the D string and then I'll play the other three strings so it should sound like Start with the verse. Uh, the verse has uh, four chords as well. It's G, D7, A minor, and C7. Uh, you know, G, D7, the A minor power chord, and then C7. All right. So once we do this little D7 before the verse, you 
starting to your G. chords. And you play your A minor power chord. You play this little riff that starts on the fifth fret of the A string. What that is is uh, you start on the fifth fret of the A string, slide to the seventh, and then go to the fifth fret of the D string, and then hammer on to the seventh. down to the fifth. Alright, so you, the, the last time should sound like this. So all together the verse uh, should be... to the A minor chord. Play that. And then start playing the introduction. And once you play that, the chorus, then you're going to go back to this D7. Sorry. Uh, it's D7 and uh, play the next verse, which is almost the same. Well, exactly the same. Okay, and then you're gonna go down to your <clears throat> to your bridge, which is uh. uh Sorry, I forgot the chorus for a second. Uh, the bridge is, uh, you start off on the A minor. Which I play a, a down stroke and then up stroke and then I stop it with my hand. Start on the up stroke, and down stroke, and up stroke, down stroke. Same thing, just as long as you get that slap in there, that'll be good. So you start on A minor to D, back to A minor, and D again, and then to a B minor. C to G and then to D and then back to G and then the D7. So let me just play one time through. Uh, the bridge is uh, To the chorus chords, so you know the A minor. I mean the sorry, the G, 